best performers. His name rhymes with Gerwood, Brad Sherwood. Her name rhymes with Yo Mama, Karen Maruyama. His name rhymes with Orange, Colin Mockery. And the world's tallest short guy, Ryan Stiles. And I'm your host, Stu Gary. Come on, let's have some fun. Hi, right, welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the show, what happens is our four performers are going to come down here and they're going to totally improvise everything you're going to see tonight. It's all made up right on the spot. They haven't seen any of the suggestions before the show. And we also get suggestions from the audience during the show. And at the end of each game, I give them points, which don't mean a thing, because at the end, I'm just going to pick the guy I like the best or the girl I like the best. And uh, they get to do a little something with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ready to get it started? Yeah. First game we're going to do is a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for all four of you. And uh, Ryan, Colin, and Brad are going to be contestants on a dating type show, hoping to be picked by the beautiful and lovely Karen. And each of them has been given a strange characteristic or identity. This is the first time they're seeing whatever's in these envelopes here. And Karen's going to ask them questions about whether they should go on a date or not and uh, try to guess who they are at the end of the round. So if you're ready, Karen, off you go. Hi, Bachelor number one. I'm a really fun-loving person. If you were a MAC lipstick color, what would you be? I would be brown like the earth. A good solid earth tone, but you shouldn't wear so much makeup, you harpy. You're funny. You use big words. <laughs> Bachelor number two, if I were Monica Lewinsky, where would you take me? Home. Well, uh, home anyway. Uh, uh, hello. I'm going to see you here. Well, I'm going to see you. Uh, uh, God, you sound sexy. Hey, um, Bachelor number three? Yes. What's your idea of a really fun afternoon daytime kind of date? Oh, I'd just like to, uh, you know, spend some time with you. I think that's the main thing. You seem like kind of a, a hard egg, but I think I could crack you. Cracker? 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 Oh. Get it back to you. Um, bachelor number one, what's your favorite color and why? Another color question, boy. I'll tell you, the color of a willow switch across your behind is what you need. I'll raise your bond if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I like your love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, gosh, you know what? Bachelor number two, favorite garden plant? <laughs> in tongues. <laughs> and finally, bachelor number three. Hello. Bloomingdale's. <laughs> Hello. Who's a pretty girl? Hi. Who's a pretty girl? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I like that answer. I didn't even ask I a like question. I like that answer. I a question. I like that answer. I like that answer. Hello. <laughs> Hey, Karen, you want to guess who they are? Uh, I think Bachelor number one thought he was Sean Connery. Yeah. No. 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 You want to try it one more time to, so you won't look so bad? Uh, he was Sean Connery. No, he was an, James Am Bond. He was an Amish guy. Uh, <laughs> it's so easy to get him confused, I know. James Bond. My wagon turns uh... into a Ferrari. <laughs> uh, number two had no jaw. No, he was a guy in a dentist chair. That's close. Okay, and number three thought he was a parrot. Yeah! <laughs> All right! Woo! Well, a thousand points to Karen for that round. Even though she got two wrong, I think she's cute. <laughs>